And welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center here on the campus of Grambling State University. The men's basketball team getting ready to step on the floor. Santoria Black, Malik Brown joining me here at courtside for this game. Malik, how you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm good. How's it going? Doing well. So let's let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about football just for a quick second because divisional playoffs are going on right now. Yeah. Score Kansas City game. Uh, 24 to 7 in the third quarter. <clears throat> Hoping for the Walrus. Huh? Hoping for the Walrus. Andy Reid. No, not me. You want the coast to win? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna happen. I think. I think so. I think they're gonna come back. That's a heck of a comeback. But I mean, you know they what? did it before. Only reason I'm rooting, I'm rooting for Indianapolis, Chester Rogers. Chester Rogers. Definitely. All right. Let's talk about the starting lineup first of all for Southern University. The Jaguars coming into this game one in 14 overall going to a conference play lost to Texas Southern and lost to Prairie View A&M University this past weekend they will start Dustin Dutton a 6'3 redshirt junior from Panama City Florida Alex Ennis a 6'9 225 pound graduate student transferred in from Oregon State just for his senior year into Southern University Sydney Moody a 6'7 redshirt senior from San Antonio. Eddie Reese, a 6'0 senior from Highland Park, Michigan. And Jaden Sadler, a 6'1 freshman from Aberdeen, Maryland. Head coach is Sean Woods. Uh, here with his basketball team, Sean Woods, no stranger to the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Uh, you know, Malik, one thing I can say about this game, you can throw the records out, as you saw in that last game, Grambling and Southern always bring their best. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's, this is uh, this is the biggest rivalry in the SWAC, so you know every time they play each other, they're going to go out and play their hardest for all 40 minutes. Pedro Cipriano is the assistant coach, Jethro Hillman, uh, assistant coach, uh, Martise Monroe, and Ryan Price Cipriano, as a matter of fact, was a very good basketball player here in this conference. Grambling Tigers start Ivy Smith, Dallas Polk Hilliard, Anthony Gaston, Alex and Poyo, Trayvon Bunch. What does Grambling do you think need to do in order to start the tone here against Grambling? Uh, you know, start out fast. You know, <laughs> as as you would always do in every game, start out fast, set the tempo, uh, play good defense. Don't let them get easy shots in in the paint to start this game off. Sean Woods, of course, as I said, no stranger to the Southwestern Athletic Conference. He was a coach at Mississippi Valley State University. Took his team to the NC two A tournament. Then went on to Moorhead State University. A little controversy at Moorhead State. Then uh, eventually left there and now back in the conference. Very good coach. And, uh, I, you know, really and truthfully, I give him a couple years, and I think he's going to have this team back where he had Mississippi Valley when he took that program over. <coughs> Opening tip, and it goes to Graham. Men's basketball team, of course, they will play Alcorn on Monday night. First shot up, no good. Ball tipped around, and Southern University with the ball. Ooh, wild shot up, no good. Rebound and the putback is up and good. Ennis with the bucket for Southern University. Two to nothing is our score. Right away you can see Southern playing some tough defense. Shot up good. AJ Gaston with the bucket. They will definitely need his play in order to win this ball game today. Nice head fake. Shot up and no good. Empoyo trying for the rebound and it goes out of bounds. Southern ball. Right away you can tell Southern. <clears throat> really some high flying action. Not a lot of seniors on this team. Not really, no. No. A couple of uh, got a graduate, two graduate students, including Hassan Hussein and Got a retro senior in, in Moody. Shot up, no good. And a rebound by Sellers. <laughs> so 
Southern moving the ball around the perimeter. <clears throat> Shot is up and no good. Putback is good. Putback, Jaden Sadler. <clears throat> Jaden Sadler with his first bucket of the ball game. To our score, Javi Smith Jr. Now to AJ Gaston. Shot up. Good! Gaston with the plus one. AJ Gaston, of course, four points. And I had a chance to see this team against Wisconsin. They hung with them up until about six minutes remaining in the first half of the game. And boy, you can see there, Malik, AJ Gaston taking it to the hole. And that's what you need. You need that dribble drive penetration. Free throw up and good. Five points now for A.J. Gaston. He's got all the points for the Tigers. 17-35 remaining in the first half. 5-4 is our score. Three-pointer, no good. Three-pointer on the way. Oh, good. Dallas Polk Hilliard. He's really added another dimension. Leads the team in scoring. Eight to four, our score. Grambling on top. 16-51 remaining first half. Oh, that's going to be a foul. That foul is going to go against Devontae Jackson. That's his first personal. Another foul on Graham. That's a cheapie. That's, this time is on Ivy Smith. That time it just seemed like Ivy got beat. Yeah. Southern will inbound the basketball. Controlling the basketball. Sadler. And a little clock issue. And ready for live action again. Oh, that's going to be a bad pass by Southern and AJ Gaston with the basketball again. Offensive foul charge to Grambling. And that's going to be on Devontae Jackson's second personal already. Malik, you cannot have two personal fouls that fast, and now you're going to have a substitution in the ball game. Coming into the ball game is Trayvon Bunch, 7-1 junior. Comes from Racine, Wisconsin. Oh, that's going to be an offensive foul on Southern now. This time on number 12, Alex Innes. Really, the offensive fouls are just coming in because of, of control issues down low. Avi Smith Jr. bringing the basketball across the half-court line. And Dallas Polk Hilliard now with it. And he's fouled. That's going to be on Dustin Dunton. And we have a timeout on the floor with the score of the Grambling Tigers. Eight, Southern University four. We'll take this timeout. You're watching Grambling basketball on the Grambling, on the Grambling Sports Radio Network.
start here and go anywhere. Here at Brandon State University, where everybody is. God bless you. Welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hamby Assembly Center here on the campus of ye old Grambling State University. The Grambling Tigers trailing 8-4. to four. Santoria Black along with Malik Brown giving you tonight's action. And Malik, so far we've seen the Grambling Tigers really uh, the, control the tempo of the ball game, and that's been the important thing. Grambling with the basketball. A.J. Gaston with the ball. Shot up. Good. Another bucket for Gaston. Seven points. Off to a hot start tonight. His game is impressive. He can play outside, can play inside as well. Shot here by Dutton. No good. Rebound by Ivy. Ivy Smith Jr. over to Dallas Polk Hilliard. Not a Trayvon Bunch. Ivy Smith for a three-pointer, good! Huge three-pointer, back down on the other Ooh, side, clean block shot. by Trayvon Bunch! What a block! Smith, Smith for a shot, good! Ooh. Ivy Smith Jr. with the bucket and one, the hurt and harm! Fourth team foul on Southern. That one goes against Dustin Dutton. That's his second personal. Two players already for Southern have two personal fouls. Free throw, good. Boy, Ivy Smith Jr. and these Tigers, they've come out storming 16-4. 14-49 remaining first half of play. Four Turnover. Avi Smith Jr. with the, the basketball. AJ Gaston with the shot. Gaston now with nine points. And Southern got to take a T.O. Ivy Smith. Nice basket. What an impressive start for Grambling here in this ball game. Great transition in the ball game as well. And Sean Woods is not happy for Southern University. <laughs> this is a 30-second timeout. We'll take this short time. Well, we'll keep it right here. Just it was just a 30-second timeout. <laughs> Cheerleaders entertaining the crowd here at the Hobby Assembly Center. Malik, so far in this ball game, we've seen A.J. Gaston really play effectively for the Tigers. Yeah, he's also a hot start. They've been targeting him a lot tonight, and he's definitely been coming through for him. On the defensive end, Trayvon Bunch hustling down and getting the big block that exactly what they need. Block. That changed the momentum. Got the crowd into the game and everything. Southern with the basketball after the timeout. 18 for the score. A.J. Gaston with nine. Ivy mean Smith Jr. with six. Southern moving the ball around. Southern setting the offense. Shot up no good. That's going to be on Southern, it looks like. That foul is going to be on 21. Brian Assey. First personal. As he picks up the foul, Ivy Smith Jr. Shot by Dallas Polk Hillier, no good. And the rebound by Southern, Eddie Reese with the basketball. Reese cross court pass. Still 20 left on the shot clock. Ooh, near travel.
Nice pick set. Shot up by Umudi. No good. Rebound Dallas Hilliard. Dallas Poe Killian with the rebound. Three pointer. No good. Southern with the basketball, 13-14 remaining in the first half of play. Roy with the basketball. It goes out of bounds off of Southern. Southern with a lot of turnovers early on, Malik. Real, care real careless with the basketball. Alex and Poyo will go down the floor, and Anthony Gaston will get it inbound to Avi Smith Jr. Oh, pass a little too far. Goes in the hands of Sean Woods. Now coming into the contest for Grambling, Lasani Johnson, 6'3 junior from Dallas. Richard Lee checking in for Southern. Southern with the basketball. 18-4, Grambling on top. Eddie Reese for three. Rebound with Ivy Smith. Ivy with the rebound. Gets it to A.J. Gaston. Bounce pass. Oh, it goes out of the hands. And into the hands of Richard Lee, the senior from Fort Lauderdale. Ooh, that ball goes out of bounds off of Southern. Brian Assey, it went off of his hands. Sonny Johnson, three, no good. Ball tipped out of bounds off of Grambling. Dallas Polk Hillier going up high and tipping it out. Still 18-4, Grambling on top. Nigel Ribeiro getting ready to check into the ball game for Grambling. Also getting ready to check into the ball game, Prince Moss, the 6'7 redshirt sophomore from Bessemer, Alabama. Twelve oh two remaining here in the first half of play. Now the head official going over to ask about the clock here. Should be 29 left on the shot clock, and they reset it. <laughs> Darius Johnson inside to Assey. Shot up no good, partially blocked by Trayvon Bunch. Not a Nigel Ribeiro. Lasani Johnson. Not a Ribeiro. Oh, loses the ball and turnover. Southern comes away with the basketball. Shot up, no good. Oh, it's going to count. Is that going to count? That's definitely going to count. Foul on Prince Moss. Prince Moss with the, with the foul. We will take a timeout on the floor. 18-4 our score. We'll take this time up. As you see, the foul just committed. We'll be right back.
official Grambling State University app is here, and the features make it 100 times easier for you to navigate through the semester. Get direct access to your grades, student email, your Tiger One card, news, the KGRM radio station, campus events, local weather, and more. There's even a map that'll show you exactly where you are on campus so that you can get to where you need to be. In your free time, you can stay up to date with the latest social media posts from the Grambling State University Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So head over to the App Store and download the Grambling State mobile app today. Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, Southern a little late coming out of the timeout. That's the charity strike. It's going to be number 32. Well, Jackson not happy. Shot up no good. <laughs> Nigel Bear with the basketball. Still not on the shot clock. Trayvon Bunch going up. That's an easy bucket. Good. Easy two. 20 to 6, our score. Richard Lee with the basketball. Not a Johnson. That's going to be an offensive foul. Southern can't get anything going, Malik. Gremlins, Gremlins playing suffocating defense right now. Southern just not, just not making anything happen. You got to credit defense of Gremlins with a lot of that. Southern setting up the defense two-three zone now. Trayvon bunch out hot, assy on him. Not a Nigel Ribeiro. They lose him in transition. Good. And one. Nice. Nice. Well, Sean Woods all in the face of Sidney Umudi, the Richard senior from San Antonio. Talk about an emotional coach. Sean Woods does not hide his feelings on his shoulders. He's been known to get a technical or two. <laughs> Shot up no good. <laughs> Three-pointer on the way, no good. By Richard Lee. Rebound bunch. Boy, Gramley just all over Southern. 2 3 defense set up. Three pointer on the way. Money. Lasani Johnson from, from three. Kickball violation that goes back to Southern. 25 to 6. See there, Nigel Ribeiro here on the replay. Nice kick out in Southern's defense. Malik in transition. Southern's not getting around in transition, getting the three-pointer. Shot up no good. Hey, defense. Ribeiro up court. Oh. Blocking foul. Sadly.
Sadler's second personal. Nothing is going well for Southern. And in traditional Sean Woods fashion, he is working the officials. Ribeiro to Prince Moss. Kick ball. Kick ball. Grambler retains possession. They have to check the time on the shot clock here. <laughs> Looking at a little, little bit of a replay here to see the kick ball and also time on the shot clock. You can see here on the replay. Yeah, the kick ball was by Southern. It was by Southern. Here's a replay again. Probably a better angle. Yep. Definitely kick ball. The question is how much time was left on that shot clock. Probably should have been about 22 seconds, 21 seconds left on the shot clock. It never started. Yep, 22 seconds. Trayvon Bunch will inbound for the Grambling Tigers. Get it into. Prince Moss, not an outdoor barrel. Roberto, two, two. No good. Ball tipped out. Comes down to Sadler. The drive by Roy, offensive foul. The cause just have not been going Southern's way tonight at all. <laughs> I've been covering basketball for a long time, and I can tell you right now, I don't know the last time that I've seen a, a faster start for the Grambling Tigers. Came out firing on all cylinders this night. <laughs> Ribeiro with the basketball. Eighteen left on the shot clock. Gaskin, Gaskin. shot, good. Oh, 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 in and out. In and out. Roy, three pointer. This time by Richard Lee, and that ends a drought in scoring for Southern. They're gonna make Bunch tuck in his jersey here pretty soon. Bunch to Nigel Ribeiro. Ribeiro takes drive, baseline. Kicks it out to Bunch. Dunk! Damn, I'm going to the backboard down with that one. <laughs> Just when you think Southern might get back into it, three-pointer. Now coming into the Southern lineup, Hassan Hussein, another one of the Graduate students. And Xavier appeared in for Grambling. Subbing out Bunch. A very rough start for Southern. A great start for Grambling. Ball will be out of bounds underneath the goal. That foul goes against Scrambling. It's going to be on Xavier Pierce. First personal.
Grambling running a full court press. That's stopping to play here. They got to stop with your play because of the clock. Hey. Hey. Nigel Ribeiro on the basketball. He's defending Sadler. Sadler drives, kicks it back out to Lee. Lee. Lee, pull up. No good. Tipped out. out of it's going to be on the floor against A.J. Gaston. First person. We have a timeout on the floor with the score. Grambling 27, Southern 9. We'll take this timeout here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. We'll be right back. What is Grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a community. Grambling is an education. An experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and the future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody. Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, Santoria Black, Malik, what can Brown do for you? <laughs> Got uh, all kinds of football going on right now, the divisional playoffs. Where are we at with the score right now? Are, how are the Colts doing? Uh, it's still 24-7. The fourth quarter just started They're about three minutes in. Taking a look at some of these numbers early on, Grambling <clears throat> being out-rebounded, but, man, they are... 11 of 17 from the field, Southern 4 of 18. Southern shooting 22% currently. Not good. And Grambling dominating inside the paint, 14 to 6. Southern with the basketball. Lee thought about it. <clears throat> Not a Reese. Oh, it's going to be a foul. That is going to be on Prince Moss, I believe. Nope, they're going to call that on Trayvon Bunch. Yep. <laughs> one and one here for Southern University, and they score. Finally, they get into double figures. 7.36 remaining in the first half. Shot up no good. Southern now one of three at the free throw line. But they cannot buy a bucket. Just 10 points. And they just got to 10, 7.36 in the first half. <clears throat> Dallas Polk, Hillier goes in for the shot, good. Nice post move. Well, that's gonna be an offensive foul. <clears throat> And Sean Wicks telling the officials that he's flopping. That foul's going to go on Sadler. That is his third personal. Third in the first half. He's going to have to sit real, real soon. Oh, yeah. Twenty-nine to ten. Dallas Polk Hilliard shot. 
No good. Ball tipped. It's up. It's no good. Trayvon Bunch with the buck with the uh, rebound. And this foul is going to go on Southern. Looks like on Aaron Ray. That'll be his second personal. Bunch at the charity strike. Free throw up, no good. <clears throat> Two shot foul. They thought it was a one and one. Should have been a one and one. No, it's ten fouls, so it is two shot foul. <laughs> Free throw up and good. <laughs> Southern with the basketball. Eddie Reese now getting it to Lee. <clears throat> Lee to Ray. And now a three-pointer. I should say a, a shot from about 15 feet out. And that was uh, Hussein. No good. That's going to be a foul on Southern. 6-14 remain 30-10. to 10. You know, Southern has really been on their on the heels this whole game. Gremlin has been attacking the paint. And Southern just hasn't stopped them. No, at all. And, you know, one of the problems is Really, you're not getting. <clears throat> you got you get you're getting offensive rebounds, but you're not getting shots. And Trayvon Bunch still struggling from the free throw line tonight. They're out. Re they were out rebounding Grambling six to nothing on the offensive side. The problem, and they're winning the rebound battle. The problem that they have right now is they can't get a good shot. And the shots that they're getting, they're missing. <laughs> And you have to credit Grammy with some good defense as well. Oh, well, yeah. Hussein getting a bucket. Well, how long has it been since, Grant, since Southern has scored a field goal? Oh, it's been about two, almost two minutes now. March for three. No good. It goes over the backboard. Southern ball. 540 remaining in the first half. 30 to 12. Coach Jackson said that he wanted a fast start, but man, look, this is this is incredible. This is hyper speed. I can tell you right now, if the play doesn't get any better for Southern, there's going to be some clipboard tossing and pin throwing in the locker room at halftime. Shot up good. Ooh, good shot. Richard Lee getting the shot. The senior from Fort Lauderdale. Gramlin pushing the tempo. Gaston for three. Money. Three point bucket by Gaston. He's in double figures now. 12 points. 33 14. 450 remaining. Still one media timeout left here. <clears throat> Ray gets the ball to Brooks. Now to Lee. To Hussein. Hussein with a shot. Good. They're starting to settle down just a little bit here. <clears throat> Trayvon Bunch with the basketball. Oh, what a dunk by Prince Moss. Coming down the baseline. Beautiful setup by Ivy Smith, too. Grandma's still playing really good defense. Dallas Polk Hilliard this time with the rebound. Pick and roll. Oh, oh couldn't get it. Prince Moss goes up. That foul is going to be on Hussein, second personal. We have a media timeout on the floor with the score of the Grambling Tigers, 35, Southern 16. 
We'll be right back here on GSU TV. Welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, Santoria Black, Malik Brown. 36, 35 to 16. That is not a misprint. Moss at the line. Gets the first shot to go. Southern brought their free throw, I mean their field goal percentage up a little bit. They went from 22 to 30. They're taking a few more shots, high percentage shots going to the inside. Prince Moss. Two for two with the charity stripe on that trip. Rambler running the press. Man, do we have a clock issue again? Man, there's a lot of clock issues this game. Officials over at the uh, scores table to make sure that the clock issue is straight. 30 second shot clock did not start. Southern with the basketball. Done with the basketball. Bounce pass inside to Hussein. Hussein takes the baseline. Oh, ball is tipped and goes out of bounds. Dunn trying to get it in and finally does. Gets it into the point guard, Brendan Brooks. Redshirt freshman from Dallas. Three-pointer on the way. Good. Johnson for three, and now Southern start, starting to make a few shots now, turning it around definitely with an 18. Dallas Polk Hillier with a shot, no good. Hussein with the rebound for Southern. Even though he missed that shot, Hillier does have a, 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 a lot, a, a wide array of moves he can use to score. Johnson with the shot up no good. And with the rebound is Pierce. Oh, goes out of bounds off the hands of Prince Moss. Nigel Barrow now comes into the ball game. Great to see some of these guys who are from the Wisconsin area celebrate with their families up in Madison having a chance to watch them play. Not the result that they wanted, but definitely a chance to see them play in their home state. Out of bounds off the of Bramley, back to Southern. <laughs> 
Brooks with the basketball. <clears throat> Dunn to Hussein, nearly double dribble with the basketball. Hussein, turnaround jumper, good, no good. Bobby Smith Jr. losing it out of bounds. Southern with the basketball, 23 left on the shot clock. <clears throat> Hussein goes up, no good. Mario with the rebound. 56 seconds left in the half. <clears throat> Timeout, Grambling. Good call here to settle things down. Still an 18 point lead. 51 and a half seconds remaining in the first half of play. It's been all Grambling all day. <laughs> we'll take this quick time out here on GSU TV. Grambling on top, 40 to 22. Back here on GSU TV, the Grambling Tigers right now on top of Southern. 47 seconds remaining in the half. 40 to 22 the score. 12 points for Anthony Gaston. Dallas Polk here takes the step outside for a three. No good. Rebound of the putback is no good. It goes out of bounds off of Grambling back to Southern. Pierre trying to tip it back in. Coming up uh, before we start the second half. Malik and Donovan will talk a little bit about football by the time halftime is over with. The Walrus may have gotten another, uh, gotten a playoff win. It's looking like it right now. It's still 24-7 in the fourth. A lot of respect for Andy Reid. He's done so much with the team in Kansas City. Great coach in Philadelphia and trying to get a much-needed playoff Ooh. win. Nice drive, couldn't finish though. Anthony Gaston with the basketball. Zone defense set up. Nigel for three. No good. And that's the half. Score right now, the Grambling Tigers. 40, Southern University Jaguars, 22. Deja is our sideline reporter. We're going to go over to her in just a moment. As uh, she has a couple of very special guests. We'll get with her in just a second. 40 to 22 at halftime. And we'll go over to Deja, who's here with cheerleaders here in just a second. Forty to twenty-two, our score, and Deja is with our cheerleaders. earlier this week and he said whenever playing a swag team throw out the record it doesn't matter because this is always a rival rivalry when Grambling is playing Southern and also um, I'm very surprised that this doesn't look more like a postseason matchup because every time Grambling comes to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center it always looks like a postseason matchup and it's always intense I'm really surprised that Dallas Polk Hilliard 
He didn't score that much, but Anthony Gaston, he has definitely stepped up. But we'll see what the Tigers can do. The Tigers have definitely dominated. And be sure to keep listening to the Grand Sports Radio Network. I'm Deja Harrison with GSU TV. Santoria. All right, thanks a lot, Deja. We'll take this time out. We'll be back with the uh, second half here at the Hobby Assembly Center.
The official Grambling State University app is here, and the features make it 100 times easier for you to navigate through the semester. Get direct access to your grades, student email, your Tiger One card, news, the KGRM radio station, campus events, local weather, and more. There's even a map that'll show you exactly where you are on campus so that you can get to where you need to be. In your free time, you can stay up to date with the latest social media posts from the Grambling State University Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So head over to the App Store and download the Grambling State mobile app today. What is Grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a the world famed Tiger Marching Band presents Click It or Ticket. Drive sober or get pulled over. What is Grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a community. Grambling is an education. An experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and the future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody. All right, welcome back here to the Furnace Jihad, the Assembly Center. Let's go over to Deja. 
like this, well, guess what? Grambling is ranked number three in the swag for defense. They just need to keep them limited to the to 33% shooting like they did in the first half. Thanks, Santoria. All right, thanks a lot, Deja. And of course, Malik, we talk about defensively. The Tigers did what they needed to do in the first half. Of course, Southern making a little bit of a comeback. It's kind of hard to hold them down. <clears throat> but I tell you what, in just going past that area over there, it was so intense by the Southern locker room at halftime. Oh, I know. Oh, the coach, I know the coach is giving them a, a, a stern talking to during the half. Whew. He had to. It's almost like just give me a whooping if you was a kid. <laughs> Of course, the Grambling Tigers will be back here Monday night to take on Alcorn. Jackson is at home tonight against Alcorn. Southern will go to Jackson on Monday. Actually, they will leave here and head to the capital city. I believe they're practicing there tomorrow. Southern we had a ball to start the half. <laughs> Sean was starting the second half all over the officials. The drive was shot by Hussein, no good, but a foul coming up. I foul on Devontae Jackson. That's his third person. First shot by Hussein is up and good. And we didn't see a lot of Devontae Jackson in the first half because he got into foul trouble. Now he gets his third. Second free throw up and no good. One or two at the line for Hussein. He gets his first point of the evening. Two, three defense set up by Southern. Yeah, they're moving the ball around. And Poyo loses the ball on the floor, still on the ground, and recovered by Hussein from Southern. Sadler now with the ball. Now driving. Put back. Oh, that was Moody. Dutton goes in for the shot, no good. Gramlin's defense is definitely suffocating him right now. Dallas Polk Hillier picks up the foul. I believe that's his first or second, first foul. He's got five points. Dutton at the line to shoot two. First free throw is up and good. Second free throw up and good. Ooh. Right out of the hands of Dutton goes into the hands of Ivy Smith Jr. and he gets the Ooh. bucket. Talk about a shooter's roll. What a shot by Ivy Smith Jr. So Smith gets the bucket. Foul is on. <laughs> Foul is on the Moody. That's his first personal. Oh, upgrade. No shot there. And a block, but they're going to call a foul oh. on Empoyo. I don't know. That looked like a pretty clean block to me. I wish we'd go back to that play with uh, 
Ivy Smith Jr. because you talk about a circus shot getting enough English on the ball and getting that bucket. Man, it went all around the rim on that one. Shot up and good. Two for three at the line for Hussein. One more shot. Graduate student from Florida International, transfer from Florida International, from Lorton, Virginia. 18-35 remaining in the ball game. 43-27 down to a 16-point lead. At one point in time, Graham goes running away with a 22-point lead. Dallas Polk Hilliard with the shot. No good. Rebound by Empoyo. Loses the ball oh. on the floor. Hussein has it. And now it's going to be a jump ball. Trayvon Bunch coming into the ball game now for Grambling. Alex Empoyo will come out. Anthony Gaston. Whoa! Oh, shook and scored. Oh. Score. That may have closed the place. Dunton to Hussein. Hussein with the shot. No good. Dallas Polk Hilliard can't get the ball. Still tipped. Hilliard finally comes down with it. Ivy down for it. Oh, and over. Dunn comes over. Looked like that Smith was uh, mugged a little bit. Malik, this place almost came unglued. Man, if he would have made that, the light, they would have to turn the lights off. Ooh. And a little scoop shot by Isaiah Rollins. The first bucket of the ball game. Dallas Polk Hilliard in the Trayvon Bunch, and the foul is going to be called on the inside. And that's going to be called. On Umudi. Oh, easy. Trayvon Bunch oh. goes up, and Hussein's going to get a foul. I believe that'll be three on him. Yeah, that's his third. I say that was a pretty good foul because uh, cause Bunch hasn't really been making his free throws today. Bunch still struggling. At halftime, he was one for four, now one for five. Got one more opportunity at the charity strike. This one's mm. off the back of the iron. One for six. That's where you got to make it happen at the charity strike. 17-10 remaining in the ball game. 43-29, Grambling on top. Dutton with the basketball, defended by Dallas Polk Hilliard. Bounce pass. Hussein inside, great bucket. Easy to, he was wide open on that one. Comes down to running the offense on that play. Southern running the press now. Mm, good pass. Oh, that's going to be a travel. Yep. 43 to 31, and you notice it's now down to 12 points. Yeah, Southern is definitely creeping back in this slowly, slowly but surely. That must have been one good halftime speech. Johnson coming in, Prince Moss coming in, taking out Dallas Polk Hilliard and Trayvon Bunch. A pretty good crowd here tonight at the Frederick C. Hamdi Assembly Center.
three-pointer on the way by Rollins. Good. Mm. Now down to oh. nine points. They are really storming back now. Timeout. Southern uh, should take Grambling as they have fought all the way back. We'll take the timeout as well. 16 minutes remaining here in the ball game. 43-34, Grambling on top. We'll be right back. Welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, the Grambling Tigers right now on top of Southern 43-34. It was a 21-point lead, but Southern has fought back. Malik, Grambling's got to make it happen. Southern's on a roll. Yeah, they got to get some They got to get some of this momentum back that they had in the first half. Shot up no good. Goes out of bounds off of... Mm. Is it a jump ball? Coach Jackson wants a few answers. They're saying jump ball. Just a quick update on the divisional round. The Chiefs have just beat the Colts 31 to 13. So this is going to be a timeout. We have a timeout on the floor. 43-34 the score. We'll take a timeout here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. We'll be right back. make it a hundred times easier for you to navigate through the semester. Get direct access to your grades, student email, your Tiger One card, news, the KGRM radio station, campus events, local weather, and more. There's even a map that'll show you exactly where you are on campus so that you can get to where you need to be. In your free time, you can stay up to date with the latest social media posts from the Grambling State University Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So head over to the App Store and download the Grambling State mobile app today. Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. Great crowd tonight for, to, for tonight's uh, Southern Grambling matchup. Women lost a tough one early on. The men stormed down to a tremendous lead. Southern didn't get their 10th point until 7.36 remaining in the first half. And now it's 43-34. Inside pass, shot up good, and Ooh, count the bucket. Man, man. Southern making a Southern comeback. Really, Southern really caught the momentum right now. They're on fire. Basket by Umudi, the redshirt senior from San Antonio, six foot seven. He'll go to the free throw line and he can shoot. He is a three point threat. Shot up and good. It is 43 37 down to a six point lead. Southern is on a 15 3 run right now. Ivy Smith Jr., second on the team in scoring. Gets to Prince Moss. Bunch out high. 
Bounce pass to Johnson. Johnson fade away. Tough shot by Johnson. Good. What a tough shot. 45-37. They needed that bucket desperately. Talk about a team that has been fighting. The switch. Umudi with the shot. No good. Put back. With the putback. 45-39. Johnson to Trayvon Bunch. Bunch will take the baseline foul on Hussein. And here's the thing. Until Trayvon Bunch can be proven that he can hit free throws, they, they can foul him, and it won't matter. They, they do not have a problem following him because he's one for six right now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's out now, though. They said they appeared for him. This will be a non-shooting foul. Nigel Ribeiro coming in. And they pause for a clock issue. Johnson will inbound. Three-pointer Three by Johnson. Good. 48-39. Back to a nine-point lead. 14-11 remaining in the game. Grambler might be getting some of that momentum back. Good defense played by Grambler. Rollins with the basketball. Loses oh. control. Anthony Gaston has the basketball. He nearly loses it. He's mugged a little bit. Goes in for the shot. No good. And Dutton with the rebound. Ball is tipped and brought down by Rollins. Rollins to Sadler. Gets that ball on the inside. Assey with the ball. Oh, man. It looks like that Rollins is oh, coming up no. gimpy. Something you never want to see. Oh. Oh, oh, for three. Rollins for three. On the bad ankle. Now timeout. They got to get uh, they got to get Rollins out of there. <laughs> On the bad ankle. Yep. That's going to be a 30 second timeout. 48-42 back to a 6 point lead as uh coach Sean Woods took a timeout mainly to make sure that Rollins was okay and also to set a defensive play here. 48-42 the score with 13-26 remaining. And this has been a battle in the second half. The amazing thing is when you start looking at this second half, Southern, when they were shooting an abysmal, what, 25, 30% in the yeah. first half, they're shooting above 50% in this half. Now, Rollins has come out of the ball game. They are taping his ankle right now, or retaping his ankle, I should say. Shot up by Gaston, no good. Foul coming up on Southern. That is going to be on Umudi. And that is his third personal. Watching that replay right here of that uh, long shot. And Gaston will go to the free throw line. Not a bad free throw shooter for this team, over 69%. Grambling was shooting just 50% from the uh, free throw line during the last media timeout. Free throws good by Gaston. <laughs> Southern with the basketball. Umudi driving, kicking it back out. And he gets it to Sadler. 
Sadler with four points so far tonight. A little off his season average. As he tried to get it, and he turned it over. Now Nigel Ribeiro will control for Grambling. 12.41 remaining in the ball game. 50-42, Grambling on top. And Anthony Gaston can't hit the shot. Ray with the rebound. Tried to get it to Ashley. He didn't throw it to anybody. He was passing it to the cheerleaders right there. And Sean Woods will replace him. Southern will be in a full court press, 2 2 1 press, or full court man press. Nigel Ribeiro with the basketball. Southern really trying to force the issue on defense here. Oh, oh block. Foul coming up. We have a media timer on the floor. Alex Ennis shaking up just a little bit. <laughs> we have a timer on the floor. We'll take this timeout. 50-42 the score. 11-59 remaining in the game. We'll be right back. Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, subbing with the basketball. Umudi has control. Now gets it back to his teammate, Sadler. Ball being moved around. Ennis now controlling. Now back to Sadler. Sadler will drive the paint, shoot, gets it off the back. Good. Board. Fifty to forty-four. Now the score. 11-21 remaining in the ball game. That's going to go against Grambling. Southern's really waking up now. It's going to be like it's going to finish and be a good one here. That foul, I believe, is going to go against Grambling, and it's going to go against Peart. That is his second person. Ivy Smith Jr. with 12 points in the ball game. Peart comes out. Trayvon Bunch comes back in. Johnson, Moss, Peart, Dallas Polk, Hilliard, and Ivy Smith Jr. That's going to be an offensive foul on Southern. It's going to go against... Richard Lee. Ball. 
Now it's Grambling basketball. <laughs> Ivy Smith Jr. Lee has eight points for Southern. First personal foul. Johnson in the ball game for Grambling. He has five points. Ivy Smith Jr. picks up a double team in the zone. Goes up for the shot. No good. Ball tipped around. Dallas Polk Hilliard for three. No good. Rebound by Prince Moss. Lasani Johnson is picked up on defense. He's definitely a three-point threat. Johnson shot. No good. Oh, and Dallas Polk Hilliard. Rebound in the dunk. He came in from nowhere on that one. 52-44, back to an eight-point lead. And Coach Dante Jackson pumping his fist, telling the guys to keep it up. Sadler with the basketball foul coming up. It's going to be on Ivy Smith Jr., second personal. And this is going to be a – Southern will take the ball out of bounds. Was this a one and one While we have the opportunity, we want to send our condolences out to Terrence Bradford and his family. Of course, he uh, helps out the athletic department with uh, athletic, the athletic business and finance side. And professor here on campus, his mother passed away on yesterday and I want to send our condolences out to him and his family. You can see uh, Lasani Johnson and then missing the shot and then Dallas Polk Hilliard just skying out of nowhere. Sadler, second free throw, good. Eight point. Oh, here's a steal. Southern gets the steal in the bucket. Ray with the basket, and it's now a four-point game, Elite. Man-to-man -man defense set up by Southern. Bobby Smith Damn. goes down hard. Fifty-two forty-eight to score. That foul is going to go against Alex Innes. Free throw up and good. About an eighty percent free throw shooter. Gas to come in there for Prince Moss. One more free throw here for Ivy Smith Jr. And he hits it. He hit two free throws against Southeastern Louisiana before conference started to win that ball game. Won that game by one point. Tells you how important free throws are. Three pointer on the way. Good. Whoa. That's Richard Lee for three. Southern only down by three now. It's a ball game. You can see Southern University. They're really getting into it. Ivy Smith taking it himself. Goes up for the shot. No good. Here comes Sadler. Sadler taking the shot from 15. Oh. We have a one-point game. And the fans that have traveled over from Baton Rouge. They're starting to come alive. Fifty-four, fifty-three. Once a twenty-point lead has now gone down to one. Asani Johnson up with no good. Ball goes out of bounds off of Southern. They say it goes off of Moody and back to Grambling.
Nigel Ribeiro in the ball game. Now Dutton comes into the ball game. Coach Jackson talking to Ivy Smith Jr. for a second. Giving him some encouragement. Nigel Ribeiro, the senior from Virginia. Nice pick set by Devontae Jackson. Jackson tried to handle the ball, goes out of bounds. Gambling ball. Oh. Southern, Southern ball. ball. Yep. Media timeout on the floor, 54-53, and it's Southern ball when we come back. We'll be right back here on the Grammy Sports Radio Network. Back at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, there's a 7.54 remaining in this ball game. And, you know, you go back and you look at some of these stats, Malik, and you see where the Tigers, they stormed out uh, scoring. They were up 27-9. Then, of course, then they were up 35-16. Then they were up 40-22 at the half. Then all of a sudden, second half, they, the Southern comes back 43-34. Then 50 to 42, and now they're down just 54 53 with 748 left to go in the ball game. Well, this shot is, up no good. Devontae Jackson goes to the line, though. This is definitely the playoff atmosphere the coaches were talking about. Rebounding edge pretty much the same. Turnovers equal. Shooting percentage just getting better here for Southern. They've picked it up. It's, it's way better now in this half. It's 66%. Meanwhile, the Tigers cooled off a little bit. 28%. 4 for 14 from the uh, field. The teams are all, uh, both have hit 19 shots. Grambling 19 of 41. Southern 19 of 45. Both free throws good. And Devontae Jackson, of course, got in foul trouble. He has three fouls. <laughs> Umudi takes the baseline and a whistle. It's going to be a two-shot foul. Blocking foul charge. It's going to be one and one. That foul is going to go against Alex and Pollo. Second personal. <laughs> Seven sixteen remaining here in the ball game. Missed free throw and opportunity for Southern. Now Grambling has the ball back. Nigel Ribeiro inside of Devontae. And, oh, he goes up and it's blocked. Gets the rebound. Ball is on the floor. And Nigel Ribeiro gets it back. 27 left on the shot clock. And we have a stoppage of play. And I think they reset the shot clock and they should not have. Thank you. 
And they have to reset the game clock and the shot clock. They go over to the sports information director. Time on the floor, 56-53. <clears throat> Sean Woods calls his team over while the officials determine how much time there's left in the game and on the shot clock. So, of course, we know one team that is in the AFC Championship game, and that is the Kansas City, Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. And, uh, of course, Danny Gold, DJ Danny Gold, one of our members of the lab, came over to make certain you knew <laughs> that they were in. It's all right. My team's getting in next. So we're cool. Who was that? The Cowboys. Really? Yeah. I know it's tough. Me being from L.A. and all. I'm from Green. I'm from Wisconsin. We're not in the playoffs this year. <laughs> Great work by our camera crew. You're seeing uh, Southern going up, getting some good shots. So Rams and Cowboys next to see who gets a spot in the NFC Championship game. Kansas City finally wins a game in the divisional round. What time does that game start, by the way? 7.15, five minutes. Oh, they got to hurry this up. Don't worry, it'll be over early for Dallas. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I do got a lot of faith, though, because the Chiefs were, what, 0-4 in the divisional round? Yep. And the Cowboys are 0-5 since the Super Bowl. So I got a lot of faith they'll turn around today. We'll see what happens. Southern, as you can see, with some big shots on there come from behind. Yeah. They have really played tough, and now they finally got things straight, I think. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Yep, two seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, man. Shot up no good. It's going to be a shot clock violation. 6.55 remaining. And that, I mean, two seconds left. That was tough defense. Yeah. Coach Dante Jackson telling his guys that they need to stop both teams in the bonus right now. So fouls means they go to the line. 18 fouls for Southern, 18 fouls for Grambling. Grambling with a steal. Not your barrel. That's going to be a travel, double, double dribble. dribble. Well, they get the turnover they needed, and then they turn the ball over. Southern lineup, that's Isaiah Rollins coming back in after his uh, ankle was heavily taped. 6'3", freshman from Opelousas, Louisiana, with North Side High School. And mainly when you look at this uh, lineup for Southern University, there's only one player from the state of Louisiana. Matter of fact, when you look at both rosters, two players from Louisiana. Umudi with the drive. Shot good. Anthony Gaston coming across the half-court line. Gets it to Lasani Johnson. Three-pointer on the way. No good. That's going to be off. And Umudi. Almost has the ball stolen from him. He gets the rebound. Now to Dunton. Dunton to a Moody. Oh, Southern takes the lead. Southern takes the lead. 57-56. 5.47 remaining. They have taken the air out of this crowd. Yeah, this crowd is silent right now. That's going to be a travel. A.J. Gaskin called with the travel. Ivy Smith Jr., Dallas Polk here into the ball game.
That's going to be an offensive foul on Southern. That's going to be on 32 Sadler, fourth personal. Three zone set up by Southern. Dallas Polk Hillier for three. Good! Man, they needed that bucket. 59-57. Delay a game warning against Grambling. Devontae Jackson, fast break. Gaston goes in for the bucket. And a near steal by Ivy Smith Jr. This is a Maalox moment for a coach. 61-57. Southern grab the lead for the first time in the game just a minute ago. Four minutes, six seconds remaining in the contest. Oh, it's going to be a foul on A.J. Gaston. It's going to be number two on him. Yeah, that was a foul. And now Southern goes to the free throw line. One in one situation. Dutton goes to the line. Southern University now bringing it to 61-57. And that's going to be a foul on Southern. Media timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout as well. 3.42 remaining in the game. 61-59, Grambling. We'll take this break. We'll be right back. Welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, the Grambling State University Tigers on top 61-59. And you know what, Malik, this game is proving one thing, and that is no lead is safe and no point margin is safe. Grambling up by two points right here in Southern. They did grab the lead momentarily. Grambling able to get a big three-pointer from Dallas Polk Hilliard. And that's what they're going to need. They're going to need more points. you got three players in double figures, Anthony Gaston with 16. Grambling Tigers will send Alex and Pollo to the line. First free throw, no good. 
And Poyo has struggled a little bit at the free throw line this season. One more opportunity. 342 remaining in the game. 61-59. Double bonus. Bramley. Nine fouls. Next foul for them be the double bonus both ways. Moody for three. Oh, good. They call it a two. 62 61 the score now. Grambling trailing. Grambling on top with 315 remaining in the game. Grambling with two timeouts. Southern with one. Dallas Paul Killian with the ball inside. Devontae Jackson going up for the shot. No good. The rebound and the putback is good. Tay Jackson getting his first field goal of the ball game. He has four points now. Shot up no good. Ivy Smith Jr. with the rebound. And Ivy just wisely just kind of taking it back. Family looking for their first win in conference this season. They came into the game 0-2 in conference. The ladies came in 2-0. Dallas Polkillo thought about the three. Devontae Jackson goes up for the shot. No good. And it's going to be a jump ball. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Timeout, Gramley. So they'll have one timeout remaining. We'll take a timeout as well. 208 remaining in the game. We'll take a timeout. 64 61, Gramley on top. We'll be right back. So we'll keep it right here. We'll keep it right here. 64 61, 208 remaining. Both teams with one timeout, Malik. As you look at this game here, now both teams have one timeout. What's the strategy Gramley is going to use now? 64 61. Just keep. I think that is going to keep uh, forcing the ball inside because that's where most of their uh, bashes have came from. Force it inside, force it inside, and hopefully eventually they have something to kick it out to for an easy three. And for Southern, they'll just keep, keep the momentum up, just keep attacking, going to the line because that's where most that – they've really been – they've really been making a lot of their free throws. Tigers uh, – it's been a, a tale of two halves if you really think about it because the Tigers – were hot in the first half. Didn't shoot as well as they wanted to in the first half, but in the second half, uh, this is where Southern has really stepped up. 83% yeah. from the free throw line, 70% from the field, and a dunk by Devontae yeah. Jackson. There it is, working inside. Back up to a five-point lead, now under two minutes remaining in the game. Bramley trying to close it out here against Southern. Shot up, no good. Ball is on the floor, and Avi Smith Jr. gets it. They'll call it, no, they say out of bounds, and it goes back to Southern. Now coming in the ball game for Southern is Richard Lee. He's a shooter. He will take out uh, Isaiah Rollins. Richard Lee is really a guard forward at 6'3". Rollins more of a shooting guard, but Lee has really good range. Oh, Left open on the Princeton back wide door. Open. That's the Princeton back door right there. Jaden Sadler with the bucket. 66-63. Grambling on top, 130 remaining in the ballgame. Just 90 seconds. Can the Tigers hold on to this lead? Oh, they oh. tried to get it to Anthony Gaston cutting, and it goes out of bounds. Coach Jackson telling Avi Smith Jr. to watch the back screen. That's how they just scored. Six 
66-63. 60 seconds remaining in the game. Down to this. Richard Lee, a three-pointer, no good. No good, tried to get the foul, didn't They get wanted it. the foul. Coach Sean Woods wanted the foul. And he's telling his guys to get up on defense. 40 seconds, 19 left on the shot clock. Ivy Smith The crowd's coming alive for this one. Dallas Polk Hilliard nearly traveled. Ball on the floor, timeout Grambling. Mm, that's their time. That is their final timeout, though. We'll keep it right here. 66-63. This game is still long from being over. 30, I think they're going to call a full timeout here. It'll be a full timeout charge to Grambling, and Sean Woods is all over the official. Coach Sean Woods not happy with the defense on that last transition. 66-63, if you're a Grambling, what do you do? Just get an easy shot. Got to. No. Well, yeah, because they only got nine seconds on the play clock. So work something up that you know is going to work, get you a nice five-point lead, and just play good defense. If you're Southern University, this is a very important possession here. Oh, yeah. I say, mm, that's tough. Just play good defense. Well, if you're grambling, you need a shot. You need to get a good shot here. The inbounds pass is, it pass is paramount, that you don't get a turnover, especially one that allows Southern University to release where you have numbers on the opposite side. Yeah. Anthony Gaston to Ivy e. Smith Jr. Five Easy seconds. Play. Scoop Ivy shot, Ivy Smith. Junior. Oh, what the scoop. When it comes down to the end game, you know who's going to take the last few shots. Hit the game winning free throws. Timeout Southern. I think that's their final. That was not a call timeout by Southern, by the way. timeout by Southern. 30-second timeout that was taken. Southern's going to get down here and probably get an easy shot. Maybe a quick three. So you take a three or a two first. Take the three first so you can foul. Here's Dunton. Here's the three. Here's a... Oh, never mind. Family violation. Oh. Southern turns the ball over and Dallas Polk Hilliard gets right in the face of Dunton and calls the travel on him. That might be the end of the, that's the, end of the game right there. That's it. No more timeouts for either team. There's a foul. That's the game. 68-63. They were right in this game till the end. It's it was still, a great second half still by 11 seven. seconds left. It was a great comeback by them, though. Oh, outstanding. Free throw up and good by Anthony Gaston. Gaston, one more free throw attempt. And they've got their defense in with Boyo, Dallas Polk Hilliard, Devontae Jackson, and Ivy Smith Jr. <clears throat> well, 11 seconds remaining in the contest. Immediately following the game. We'll talk with head coach Dante Jackson, 69-63. Good defense played by Grambling. No good on the shot. Alex Empoyo gets it to Ivy Smith Jr., and that'll do it. And that's the game. 
69-63, Grambling. 69-63, to the Grambling State University Tigers win it. And I tell you what, talk about coming from behind. Incredible. Because Southern made this a ball game. They did, definitely. They came, they came out the second half a completely different team. It almost like they had it for a while. Yep. Sean Woods coming off the floor, not happy with uh, the outcome because his team was right there in this contest. And uh, he's going to be the first one in the locker room. He's going to take that tie off, and he's really going to have a long talk with his Jaguars going to 0-3 now in conference, 1-15 overall, and really a game that, uh, if you think about it, it could have gone either way at the end. Grantley just making a few more shots down the stretch. Alma mater being played. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have head coach Dante Jackson here at courtside. We'll take this timeout. We'll be right back here on the Grammy Sports Radio Network. There's even a map that'll show you exactly where you are on campus so that you can get to where you need to be. In your free time, you can stay up to date with the latest social media posts from the Grambling State University, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So head over to the App Store and download the Grambling State mobile app today. What is Grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a community. Grambling is an education, an experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and the future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody. And welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, the Grambling State University Tigers. A big win over their arch nemesis, Southern University, at home by the score of 69 to 63. Joining us here at courtside is the head coach, Dante Jackson. And talk about Maylock's moments early on in the conference. You know, right now we just ain't had a chance to put together two good halves. Yeah. At times, you know, we play really, really well, like the first half, and then at times we play really, really bad, like the second half. But Going into the game, we knew Southern was going to give us all we can handle, and they weren't going to lay down. This is not a 1-14 team uh, coming in. You can no. tell by the talent that they have, the senior leadership in the Moody. And they don't have a lot of seniors, but they do have some leadership. And we all know the history of Sean Woods and what he's done in the SWAC with Valley, Moorhead State. But it all started with Ivy Smith Jr. Yeah, it's all started with Ivy Smith. You know, he has some bonehead mistakes today, and he found a way to get going at the end. What a big shot at the end. You know, game is on the line. 
gets yeah. isolation against the big guy, gets in the paint and makes a tough left hand layup. And, you know, we'll, we'll take that guy, Ivy Smith, any day of the week. You know, one of the things that you told me about it was going to be important for Anthony Gaston to step up, and he did so today. Uh, I think he had somewhere like 16 points, 17 points in the contest, exactly what you needed. Exactly. And, you know, we've, we've, we've been looking for that extra contribution. Uh, night in, night out, we've been talking to Anthony about being that guy who can come in and, and, and just be a, 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 a guy that, that gives us that leadership on the court. So, you know, at times when he Ivy's not on the court, we probably need Anthony to be on the court. And then he, he just made big shots today, and we know he can do it. You know, he did it last year, and he, he showed up tonight. When you look at Dallas Polk Hilliard, he had some key shots, two for four from the three-point line. And it wasn't just that he made shots, it's when he did it. When he did it. What a big time three. You know, we were in a situation where we went about five, six possessions without scoring. We made some dumb bonehead mistakes. And the ball rotated. We threw, drew up a play for Devontae Jackson. He made the kick on the wing, and Dallas knocked it down, and we needed it. Ball distribution was important in this ball game. 12 assists in the contest, and you can really tell that they did a good job in sharing. Yeah, and that's true. We've, we've been talking all year about being a good team, sharing the ball, making the right play, but today we still turned it over too much. You know, if we can just take take the turnovers away, we'll be a way better team. But our situation is we've got to keep going to the lab and keep getting better. Coach, congratulations. See you Monday night, Alcorn. Thank, well, we've got, to get, we've got another big one, so yes. no days off. Absolutely. Welcome to the SWAT. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for our broadcast here tonight. Coach Dante Jackson joining us here at Courtside. Of course, don't forget men's and women's basketball game on GSU TV Monday night. And you can also listen to the game, the men's game, Monday night on Sports Talk 97.7. Until next time, for Malik Brown, for Donovan Travis, for everybody here with GSU TV, we thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you Monday night when Grambling takes on Alcorn. Women start at 530 and the men at 730. Always remember, one nation, one people. Peace.